Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. So we left off having given Faustus the uh, spider venom. They're going to use that to make us an anti-venom potion. It's going to take them about four hours though, so we're going to have to come back later. I mentioned that I wanted to explore a spot that I looked like I hadn't explored in the sewers before, but I just looked at it and it turns out it actually just leads to Faustus. So the area I thought we hadn't explored is this crossroad here. Forwards takes us uh, this way, which leads us towards where we got the spider. This way I hadn't been, but if you go down here, we just arrived at Faustus. Yeah, so I think we are actually done exploring the sewers. So I think what I'm going to do while we wait, might as well actually accomplish something while we wait. We could of course just sleep, but yeah, let's do something instead. Uh, I'm going to head back to the forest and see if I can get all the mushrooms that Faustus wants. Well, never mind about meeting you at the forest. Um, I'm actually kind of lost in here. I couldn't find the way out, and while looking for the way out, enough time passed that the anti-venom is ready. So, <laughs> let's pick it up. How goes it with the antidote? The anti-venom? Strange, anti-venin. Not venom, but venin. The anti-venin is ready. Now, take this. The apothecary hands you a flask of anti-venin. Carry it with you, and use it sparingly. It could save your life. Okay, uh, report to Silas wearing your armor. So I guess we can continue with the main quest now. I am curious about that fungus quest though. I really want to get those mushrooms. Oh, I never used this elevator here. This is probably a huge shortcut, I'm guessing. Let's do it. Where is this going to take me? Barrel room key. I think I hear a guard behind there, so let's go ahead and switch our clothes. Oh! Here! That's This is where I push the barrel onto the rat's head. Okay, yeah, that's a really nice shortcut. Cool. I still don't know what the normal exit for the sewer is. I can't find it, but I'll just probably always use this one. Alright, meet you at the forest. Oh, look! Look here, I was on the way to the forest. And this guard, which I swear I looted everything they had, but they have the footlocker key. Okay, we can use that for that uh, area kind of far away from here, so that's going to have to wait. But that's the area where we actually got the final piece of this armor suit. The chest piece. Okay, we're in the jungle again. Lots of mushrooms to get. I don't think I'm going to show that on camera, but before I get them, I... Oh, I'm getting seen. Before I start collecting, though, I want to read that thing that they gave us. It's like an identification book, I think. On Mushrooms. A monograph by Faustus Rott. Right, gonna have to use the mouse to switch pages. Chapter 1, Common Fungus. Ear cap. Broad green cap and orange stem distinguish this handsome mushroom. Uh, so it kind of describes, like, where you'll find it. Flourishes on dead and rotting wood. Trunks of fallen trees. What it's used for. <laughs> it's, it's used to treat doubt. That's strange. Doubt isn't really a condition. Cat's tooth. Sponge ball. It's a cool name. Chapter 2, Nocturnal Fungus. Ah, right, the ones that only show up between 7 and 6. Okay, well I don't think I need to read the description for each one unless I'm having particular trouble finding one of them. So I'm going to go around, gather a bunch of mushrooms, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, we're back here. I wanted to see if I can do anything more with this. Let's go ahead and knock this down. Oh. Well, that's not good. Alright, well, <laughs> bad timing on my part. Also, something I was wondering is, I wasn't sure if mushrooms perhaps respond or not. But it looks like they don't. Whoa, oh god, oh god. Oh. Almost fell off. Yeah, I'm finding a lot less mushrooms than I did before. So I think they definitely don't respawn. What the? 
Does sticks not work? Maybe I need a bottle. There we go. Okay. Another queen. Oh, I see one right here. Apparently not one of the ones that I needed, though. Quest didn't update. Okay, yeah, so does that allow me to read this inscription? No, this is still the only inscription I can't read for some reason. And it's still lit. The fact that it's got a picture of a bow makes me want to try to, like, throw a stick at it or something. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm guessing it's probably just a bug that you can't read the inscription. And I'm guessing there probably is a fifth pillar somewhere. Still my best guess. Anyway, back to mushroom hunting. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of the mushrooms. The ones in the daytime and the nocturnal ones. But I'm still missing a couple. And reading the book has been helpful. Uh, if we look here in quests, so there's actually two separate quests. The amateur mycologist one is for the ones that you can get either during the daytime or just any time. I think just any time. And then the expert mycologist one is for the ones you can only find during night. And you can see I've gotten all of them except I need a single additional midnight brood. Um, and the book has been really helpful in finding them because it tells you where they are. And for at least the ones I've checked so far, it's been very specific, like the Moonlight's Veld one. Or maybe it was the Mooncrest. Well, one of those two. I looked it up in the book, and it only likes to be around places that are warm and have, like, fire or light. So I just went around to, like, all the torches and sconces and whatever you call those things, and I found them all. It was pretty easy. The Midnight Brood one, similarly, you know those red thorns? Like, uh, these up here? It only appears around those. It prefers the acidic soil around them. So I used that to find most of them, but I'm missing one, and I've done like three rounds of the entire forest, and I can't find that last one. Similarly, I'm also missing like two of the ear caps, uh, two of the cat's tooth, and one of the sponge ball. So I'm thinking maybe they're not in the forest. They might be somewhere else. I was especially thinking that because I went back on this bridge here, and I noticed... Look at that. Do you see what I see? Across that gap, I see a bunch of mushrooms. I don't know if I can jump there. I kind of doubt it. I don't know if you're even meant to go there. It could just be, like, meant to look cool. Maybe you're not supposed to get there. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh my god! Are any of, the, any of these ones the one I need? I think I need a sponge ball, right? Yeah, okay, I got all the sponge balls. Well, unfortunately, the sponge ball was the only one I needed. <laughs> um, oh wait, there's more. Oh, I needed that one. Oh man, there's a whole cache of them here. This must be a bonus for like really observant people maybe or something. I don't know. Oh, that's the last Midnight Brood. For the expert one. I'm thinking maybe you actually have to come here. Seems likely. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere I can go down from here. I think I gotta jump back. So I'm still missing some. So there's either like another cache like this, some place a little bit off from the forest, or I just missed some. So yeah, what do we need now? We need one ear cap and one cat's tooth. Oh, so close. I'm really scared about jumping back though, because that looks like a really hard jump. And if I don't make it, well, I have to do that again. Okay. Oh! Oh god. Yeah, you can actually jump decently far if you sprint and jump. Most of the time I don't sprint and jump. Uh, what time is it? It's almost 6 a.m. I think the uh, amateur mycologist ones, I think those... I mean, they must show up all the time, right? Because we just got a bunch. So I don't think I need to wait for daytime to try to find them. So let me look around some more, because I'm so close. 
Ah, here's the cat's tooth mushroom. Yeah, I just looked it up in the book. Very helpful. Grows around rough-hewn stonework. So archways and, well, I guess just kind of any stone. There it is. So now I've got everything but the ear cap. So the ear cap grows around rotting wood, like tree stumps and things like that. So shouldn't be too hard to find. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to hope that I find that final mushroom sometime in the future. But I do want to turn in the expert mycologist quest. Look, I have the four night mushrooms you wanted. Good. The other eight should be simple to find by comparison. I wish that was the case. <laughs> Dang, I was hoping for something, you know, like a piece of equipment or something. But uh, I guess we just got XP, which is not bad. Speaking of... Or, well, I guess it's not called XP, it's called Renown. Looks like we're fairly close to leveling up. Still don't have any skills. Hopefully we get them soon. Alright, um, I want to go use my footlocker key that I got from that guard. You need a footlocker key. Wait. What key do I have? I thought I did have it. Footlocker key. I guess they all have their own individual keys, so this is just the key to one footlocker? It's weird, though, that they would all have the exact same name. Ah, here we go. I guess this is the one. Marked O-Ball. Ooh, is that a skill? It looks kind of like something that goes in a skill slot, maybe. Look kind of like that, but... Hmm, I'm not sure. What category did it go under? Miscellaneous. Guards Oboe marked with a curious glyph. A silver disc issued to all members of the Rat Guard and inscribed with its bearer's name. This Oboe has a curious glyph etched onto its back face. Huh. I have no idea what that's for. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I, I, this might be a short episode, I'm not sure, because I'm going to cut out the vast majority of what I recorded, since it was mostly mushroom gathering and going back and forth and things like that. So sorry if it's a short episode, but I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we are going to speak with Silas in our full suit of armor, which should initiate the start of that main quest where we go down into the catacombs.